Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here doing another P.O. Box Pickups video slash BBTS unboxing slash DST haul. So I have this package here from Diamond Select Toys, which I had already opened, but I want to show off some stuff here to ask you guys what you want to see reviewed first. have like three things in the P.O. Box today. So if I have these things opened, that will be everything that's been sent to me that has been opened up and everything. So if you're interested in sending me letters or your artwork, uh, please do so at P.O. Box 384 Pacifica, California 94044, addressed to Shardimus Prime, okay? Uh, right, so uh, one thing I also wanted to say is, for those of you um, that are interested in the current <laughs> election that just happened, and you want to watch a video of me talking about it, check out the Russology YouTube channel. I'll be posting a video of me talking about it over there either tonight or tomorrow. If you don't want to hear me talk about any of the political stuff, well then don't watch it, man. It's that easy. All right, let's get to the letters. All right, first off, I want to start with... One of these had some nice artwork on it that I want. Oh, yeah, there we go. This one's from uh, Gerald Gutierrez from New York. It's got the Black Spider Man logo right over there. Looking really dope. I like that. All right, I'm going to open this up first, first. And I do have a timer set here so that we can get to work on time. And let's see here. It says, and then this is dated November 2nd, 2016. Okay, see, we're, we're, we're back. On track, I think. Anyway, uh, dear Shardimus, how are you? My name is Gerald Herald. That's how I was gonna say it too, but I went with my American way of saying, or my North American way of saying. Uh, I'm 14 years old. Uh, I'm 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 a big fan of your videos and been watching for two years and starting a Marvel Legends collection that you inspire me and completed two waves Ultimate Green Goblin and Mandarin and have four shelves of Marvel Legends, sort of. I uh, love your big time letdown Spider-Man stop motions and wish to give you art, but I'm a bad drawer. My my dad thinks you're crazy, but I think you're awesome. Hey, thanks to both you and your dad. I appreciate that, both of you. And two, uh, one, what is your favorite Marvel Legends Iron Man figure? Shoot, you know my, my, my staple favorite for a very long time was the modern Iron Man from Series, was it series 8 Toy Biz? Or Series 7? Pretty sure it was Series 8 from Toy Biz. Uh, toy Biz. But right now, I really like that Neo Classic Iron Man that's up there on the shelf. That's probably my favorite one right now. Just because I remember seeing that armor when I was really young, and it just, that's the armor that made me think Iron Man was cool. So, not my, not what I think is the very best Iron Man figure. I think my best Iron Man figure probably, well, as far as Marvel Legends, right? Yeah, Marvel Legends Iron Man. Two, what's your least favorite Marvel Legends uh, wave? My least favorite Marvel Legends wave? Crap, man. Um, which wave? What? Uh, one of them was it? Wasn't the Jubilee wave? Maybe the Rocket Raccoon wave. Shoot, I can't think of it off the top of my head. Damn it! I don't want to sit here and just think for hell long. But I want to say one of those during the dark. Or was it the? Was it the? No, the Red Hulk wave wasn't that bad. One of those early Hasbro waves that had a really bad. Build a figure. I don't know, man. It's kind of shaky. The, Air, the Ares wave. Oh, oh, oh! The Spider-Man three wave. I think that is actually the worst one because I like don't have any of it. So there you go. That Spider-Man three wave with the build a figure Sandman. Oh God. Yeah, that's the worst one. All right. P.S. Wish to see you at Comic Con 2016. Would have been been a dream to meet you. Maybe next year. Uh, got. Got the new Marvel Legends Deadpool great figure. Heck, it, heck yeah, it is. And then right here we have Deadpool saying, equals Toys Are Hella Sick. Nice. Thank you, Herald. All right, next letter. Dominic from Pennsylvania. Dominic. That was kind of a weird way to say Dominique. I have a friend Dominique, but this is Dominic. All right. Anyway, uh, opening, 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 opening. <laughs> it says, hey, Shardimus, how, how are, if you're good? Dominic. Bruh. Hey, Shardimus, how are if you're... Yeah. Okay, hey, Shardimus, how are if you're good? Uh, great, I have four questions. Numero uno, uh, what is your favorite Marvel Legends box set? Numero two, uh, oh, I gotta answer the question. What is your favorite Marvel Legends box set? Well, it's hard, I, I think it's the uh, the villains, the, 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 the Sinister... Wasn't was it the Sinister Six one? No, it's not the Sinister Six one. It was the... Um, Fearsome Foes. The Fearsome Foes box set, I think, is my favorite box set. That's the one with the Rhino, the Vulture in there. You got the great Spider-Man in there. That was, yeah, I think I'm going to say that one. Yeah. Uh, what, uh, two, what's your favorite non-Bath Marvel legend? Uh, my 
favorite Bath Marvel Legend? Uh, God, that's so hard to say. I mean, definitely one of them is the face-off Captain America. I mean, that's really an all-time favorite of mine. That Captain America is so badass. I love that figure. But, um... Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna say that one for right now because that that one's really oh, but the McFarland Spider-Man. Sorry, yeah, that one really takes it. McFarland Spidey, yeah, McFarland Spidey. And then three, which is your last one because you have more than three here. Uh, I give you a dare. You have to get a display of the 18-inch Spider-Man Fist and Devastator's hand. Uh, well, that's not a question, so I'll move on. And I'm not gonna. Uh, uh, I give you a dare. You have to get a display of the 18-inch Spider-Man. Fist in Devastator's hand. Uh, okay. Uh, what is the worst figure in your entire dork room? Thank you for answering these questions and goodbye. This is me typing from Dominic. Oh, thank you so much, Dominic. Right on. I think I enjoyed like half of those questions, Dominic. Send in another letter and, and please send in another letter though. Um, but yeah, three questions, all right? That's the limit right, right over there. Three questions. Worst figure in the entire dork room? Uh, I don't think I have a worst figure in this dork room because I don't. Uh, oh, that stupid Spider-Man from that Incline Designs gave me that horrible Spider-Man figure from Hasbro that that was from the same wave as that Juggernaut. Oh wait, before I open this, um, it, you know the one that came with that weak ass Juggernaut and the repainted McFarlane Spider-Man. It's that weak Spider-Man. Not the repainted McFarlane Spider-Man, but there's another Spider-Man in there, that's terrible. Okay, this one's from Kevin Gould from New Jersey. Alright, so size Beck is right over here. I'm very curious to see what this is. And I'm cutting this all wrong, but here we go. Oh, we got popcorn all over the place. Popcorn! Alright, I hope I didn't... Okay, yeah. Oh, we got a letter right over here. Ooh, and I cut through the letter a little bit. Oh, shoot. I cut through the letter, like, a lot. Ah, oh, bro. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Uh, yeah, so, if you're putting letters in the boxes, don't put them at the very top, because I'm just going to cut right through them. Okay. Anyway, uh, dear Shardimus, let's see if I can get this all lined up now. It's precious video time, I have to get to work. Uh, dear Shardimus, I was touched by your tribute to Glenn Webb, and that's why I am sending you these items to you. Uh, Glenn had featured a couple... A, a couple Captain America Civil War mystery minis on Blind Bag Bonanza, but was never able to pull the Walgreens exclusive figures. He really wanted the unmasked Black Panther. Uh, I purchased a handful of these boxes at my local Walgreens to ship to Glenn as they weren't available in the UK, and I hoped he'd find the figures he wanted. I sent the figures out on August 26, only to learn minutes later that Glenn had tragically passed away. Oh man, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's terrible. I mean, it's already terrible that he passed away, but that whole experience from your end, you know, I'm sorry. Uh, on November 1st, I opened my mailbox to find the unopened package uh, returned to me. I had already decided that if this happened, I would send the Civil War minis to you. It felt right to send them to another collector who has given me hours of entertainment and who had a personal connection to Glenn. Feel free to do with them whatever you wish, whether it's opening them on your own version of Blind Bag Bonanza, which I don't do. Blind Bags is definitely not my thing, bro. I don't like them at all. I, um, I don't. And I feel like a heartless bastard saying this because this is very touching and I very much appreciate it, but I don't give a shit about Blind Bags. I just don't care about it. No, I'm not getting that upset about it or anything, but... Um, I might, ah, shoot, if I had more time, I would like to open them, like, on camera right now. Um, or giving them to someone who would enjoy them as much as Glenn. I honestly think about Glenn every day. I miss him too, man. It's very sad. Um, he's right there on my front page as far as related channels, like, all the time. I see, I see his face every day. I still see his face every day. Uh, I miss his wonderful videos, and I'm haunted by the sudden loss of such a good person at a young age. I view it as a reminder to make the most of every day and to truly commit to the things you love. This is very true, which is another reason why I'm working so hard on this Spider-Man stop-motion video, uh, which should be up Saturday, so stay tuned. Uh, all the best, and until next time, mm, bye. Well, he didn't write mm, bye, but I just said that. Kevin. Alright, thank you so much, Kevin. This is very touching, man. So here's the blind bags that he sent over, which were originally for Glenn. I might do a video just opening these up, you know, th um, 
uh, I just have to mention that blind bags are not my thing, and that's the timer. Damn it. Okay, I have to go to work. Shoot. And the BBTX unbox unboxing. Um, wow, so here's all the blind bags. Uh, I, I'm probably, uh, like I said, I'm not into blind bags. This is not my thing. But I will very much likely be doing a video opening these up. These up. I, I, I'm, I'm actually like very honored that Kevin sent these over to me. Um, gosh, KK, get the idea. I have to go. So uh, I, yeah, I'm really touched by that, man. Thank you so much. So um, it'll probably be like a one-shot thing, and I just repeat that this isn't my thing, just because I don't want uh, other people, you know, sending. Um, more of a my way or anything like that. I don't want to create an expectation that uh, it's something I'll be doing regularly. So, um, most likely going to do a video on that in the next week or two. Alright, so anyway, BBTS unboxing! Alright, here we go. And I'm going to be late for work. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay, so uh, this package came like very punched. It looks like it was squished very much. Alright, and let's see. I do have a hot toy that I will be reviewing soon or tomorrow. Thanks to ToyNewsEye.com, I have a Hot Toys Armored Batman uh, to review. So hopefully I get that video up uh, tomorrow. I haven't even opened it yet though. Ah, yes, I forgot. Yeah. Ah, yes, Masterpiece Thrust. Oh my god. My very first Transformer was G1 Thrust. So I am super excited to have a Masterpiece Thrust. I wanted to get Starscream. They didn't have Starscream. I was five years old. Okay, so it was too late for Starscream. But uh, there's Masterpiece Thrust. Very excited for that. Uh, here we have the Mapex number 16 Boba Fett. And I saw Book Nice 10's review. I'm already disappointed in this without even opening it. And I had to pick up, because uh, I love the Flash TV show, so I had to get the DC Collectibles Flash. Like a flash. I also got an extra Nico for a friend for a gift, so I picked up an, a Nico to give for a gift. And then we have the Batman, which is not the same Batman that I was just talking about a second ago. This is the regular Batman right here. So probably a uh, review coming for this guy uh, next week. So let's see. Yeah, because this weekend. And I still have the rest of the Marvel Legends to review and everything, but there is the packaging for the Bat Black. I'm very excited for this one. Love the Bat Black. Uh, some of the DST stuff that I have here. I have some X-Files goodies that, that got sent my way. So let me know if you want to see these reviewed. Uh, or if you'd rather see these Mallrats figures reviewed. we got Jay and Brody. And coming soon is uh, Silent Bob and Renee. Those are not out yet. And then also this... The Marvel Gallery Spider-Man statue. So let me know what you guys want to see reviewed most in the description below. And thank you so much for you guys sending stuff my way. Um, uh, letters and P uh, letters and artwork, please send to Shark Miss Prime, PO Box three eight four Pacifica, California nine four zero four four. And I will catch you guys later. Peace.